Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, take a sec and subscribe and ring the bell. That way you won't miss any videos and I will get to know you better. So today I'm going to share with you how I got a new flapper horn. Many of you know what happened with my last one and I just was so upset. I didn't plan on getting another flower horn for a while, but things just fell into place and I got one. So stay tuned and I'll share it with you. Let me introduce to you Darwin. Darwin is about four inches. He is a half camphor and half super red dragon flower horn. He has amazing dark red eyes, wonderful flowing fins, nice black markings down his sides, and has lots of blue pearling on him. I think he has more camphor in him than red dragon. As flower horns grow, they often change color until they reach adulthood. We will have to wait and see how Darwin turns out. Gaia's nose is still quite messed up. I'm not sure that it will ever heal. Hubby and I went to Mississauga Aquarium over the weekend. I wanted to choose a few more parrotfish for my 125-gallon aquarium. I picked up four small blood-red parrotfish to add to the larger ones. This is the same place where I got Gaia and Bogey. Of course, I planned on looking at the flower horns as they are my favorite, along with everything else they had. While Hubby is infatuated with the stingrays, they have some amazing rays and quite a few different colors. They didn't have as many flower horns as they usually do. They had tank after tank of beautiful arowanas, most between seven and eight inches, every color imaginable as well. Walking through, I came to the flower horns. Well, I knew it wouldn't be long before I got another one. Just looking at them is all it takes. Well, as I was looking at Darwin, along with all the others, Barry the breeder was there and came up to me. Now I've gone to that store often enough that he knows me on sight. He even told me he's been watching my video channel. While well, we talked about Bogey and what happened, he was so compassionate and understanding. Just talking to him made me feel better. He even told me he has medication that I can come and get from him any time. It's specifically made for flower horns. He calls it yellow powder. I did mention I use Teramycin 200. Barry said that is a very good product. Well, I had no intentions on getting another flower horn quite so soon, although I did know I would get one eventually. Well, Barry noticed me looking at this fellow and he told me if I wanted him, he would give me a good deal after losing Bogey. I got Darwin for half price. How could I possibly pass that up? Of course, this left me with much work to do when I got home. I didn't have anything set up and had to make some immediate changes to accommodate him. Our drive home was about an hour and a half, but with traffic, it took us two hours. On the way home, I posted an ad on my um, Kijiji and Facebook um, of my older assorted cichlids. I made it free to go home as I didn't have time to wait. Plus, I usually give my cichlids away because I like to encourage young people to get into the hobby and this certainly makes it easier for them. Well, I was getting responses before we even got home. Long story short, a young man came with his father and took them all. He was setting up a new 125 gallon, a perfect home for them. As you can see, I did add a partition between these two, hoping they will get along. I moved Gaia right in her crock. She had filled it with eggs and was very protective. It actually was a great way to move her. 
The eggs weren't fertile and soon died. They look at each other through the partition, but really haven't been showing any aggression. More interest. I'm hopeful and will try removing the partition this weekend. We'll see if she is gentle with him because I think she will be the aggressor. So I'm very happy to have Darwin. He is unique and beautiful. It will be a lot of fun to watch him grow up. I'm also keeping in touch with the young fellow that came for my cichlids. He's excited and very happy. I couldn't ask for anyone better suited to take them. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.